We are heading to Los Angeles for seven days, where we have a hectic first full day, where we visit Nijia Market and Kura Sushi in Little Tokyo, and Zion Market and Daiso in Koreatown. We get lost along the way, and things don't always go to plan. On our layover, we got lunch, so I have a Greek platter with a chicken skewer, salad, and potatoes. The potatoes were absolutely delicious. Having a Thai basil chicken fried rice. In the mindset of vacation, we have some menchis. This is the Kit Kat and Reese peanut butter swirl and mango sorbet. The Kit Kat one tasted like a Wendy's Frosty. As soon as we arrive in LAX, I noticed the number of palm trees and how tropical and cool looking they are. During the whole trip, we took a public transportation, so we got a 7-day tap card, which means you have unlimited access to public transportation for those 7 days. We arrive at Costco to stock up on food for the week. I noticed there's a lot more products and variety compared to the Canadian Costco. Look at the deal on this pineapple. $1.99. What? That's insane. So much alcohol. Just rows and rows and rows of alcohol. We check out the prepared food section to see what we can take to Disneyland with us and we pick up the green wraps and I give it a taste test in the morning. I apologize for the bad lighting but it is around 8.30pm so the sun has set already. We ordered this pizza so we can eat it a little bit for dinner and then wrap it up and then keep it in the fridge. So for breakfast we're just making these baby potatoes on the pot. So these are the chicken wraps that we got from Costco that we were going to take to Disneyland. So it's just an Asian wrap with rotisserie chicken and dressing. Individual wraps in there and then there's like the Asian dressing as you can see. I'm gonna try the wrap with the dressing first and see what it tastes like. It's pretty good. But it is quite dry without any dressing on it. It would be really good with mayo. For breakfast, we have our rotisserie chicken that we got from Costco and the baby potatoes that I was cooking earlier. Good morning, everyone. It's day two of LA. We're just walking to get our SIM card at T-Mobile. We had a change of plans today, so we were originally supposed to go to Disneyland, but yesterday was actually really super hectic and crazy, so we decided to go to Disneyland tomorrow and give today um, sort of like a rest, go to Koreatown, Little Tokyo, stock up on food kind of day. The traffic is super hectic here. Definitely what, not what we're used to. And I'm just glad that we don't have to drive at all. Look at the flowers, so pretty. Everyone drives really fast and they all have really nice shiny cars because the weather's always nice here so they're able to maintain it throughout the year and they don't have to worry about like snow or winters or salt on the ground and all the plants are tropical looking look at all the palm trees everyone that's crazy there's my restaurant there's my diner right there Ruby's diner <laughs> I'm trying this Chobani Greek yogurt and it's in the watermelon flavor I really wanted to try it because lots of people rave about it online but it's not available in Canada, so might as well while we're in LA. It is quite liquidy. We made it to Union Station. What's going on right now is that we're, we didn't get, end up getting the T-Mobile because it was there was going to be a $10 activation fee on top of the $30 that we're going to have to pay for the plan, so we decided that it was not worth it to get it so we're just going hopping from a wi-fi spot to wi-fi spot or, and going to map it out that way and then and per day we only go to a certain amount of places anyways we actually went to AT&T as well and then went to Walmart and talked to their um, talked to their cell phone department and then so everything was dead it wasn't good at all none of the plans were decent so then now we're we made it to Union Station and we're going to Little Tokyo and we're going to the Kura Sushi revolving restaurant we made it to Little Tokyo so when we initially came out here it was out of the the train station it was actually quite hard to find um, but we just followed everyone and then we saw the big sign I think it, you can see it behind me like right there yeah we saw that tower thing and then we were able to come find it 
We are going into the Sanrio store now and they have a promotion going on for the new character Agretzko who's a red panda office lady and when she gets fed up with work she goes to the karaoke and sings heavy metal. And then everyone knows Gurutama. There's so much Gurutama merchandise. There is Honey Me over there which is just an ice cream shop specializing in honey products. Yamazaki Bakery where we checked out the baked goods but we didn't see anything we wanted. Nijia Market is a Japanese grocery store in the heart of Little Tokyo and as soon as you enter on the right hand side there are cold sandwiches. This is a katsu sando which is pork cutlet inside of a sandwich. There are also prepared foods like bentos and onigiri. Noodle bowls, yakisoba, and sushi. So these are the four items that we got. So I got the yakisoba bun and also the, the katsu sandu. And then we got the curry korokke bun and then a beef rice ball. Beef onigiri. What do you think? I thought it was meat inside this, but it, it's curry filled. But it tastes good. Can you try this one first? Mm. The taste is very simple, but it also has like a nutty aftertaste as well. I'm eating all bread. I'm gonna try the yakisoba bun now. Man, I'm not good at picking stuff. <laughs> it's really plain. There's like no flavor to it. All, all, all I taste is all I taste is the bread. Kura Sushi is a conveyor belt sushi restaurant, so you can see the sushi items going around on the conveyor belt. And this type of restaurant is very normal in Japan. And this location, the one in Little Tokyo, LA, is the same company as the one in Japan with over 400 different locations. On their website, they state that they proudly serve menu items using organic products and or no MSG, no artificial sweeteners, and no preservatives for customers' health and safety. You have the option to grab a sushi plate from the conveyor belt or ordering them from the iPad menu at the top. I was seated near the door and you can see the poster from the outside of all their regular menu items that are $2.50. You can also check out their website at kurausa.com if you want to look at the menu beforehand. They have a new or seasonal items menu that's always changing but as you can see some of the items aren't all $2.50 so you have to be careful when you're ordering to look at the price beforehand. When you're done with your sushi plate, you're going to insert it into the slot and the number on your iPad will go up so it will keep track of how many sushi plates you consume. This is the Blue Crab California Roll. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ordered the Golden Crunch Roll on the touchscreen menu just to demonstrate and it'll tell you in Japanese that your order is coming and it'll stop right in front of you and it's going to be on top of the regular conveyor belt so that nobody else can grab it, obviously. So this is the salmon pinkle. I'm just gonna give it a try. Salmon, green onion, and I think egg yolk. Philadelphia roll, it has cream cheese, salmon, and avocado. Seared salmon nigiri with mayo on top. Kura sushi is different than other conveyor belt sushis because for every 5 plates you drop in, you have a chance to win a capsule toy. But as you can see, it was telling me I needed to eat more sushi in order to have another chance. Kura sushi is a fun and exciting environment, but I would recommend to not go there to stuff yourself because the $2.50, they seem little per plate, but they do add up in the end and you should go there for more for the experience. We're in the underground shopping area of Little Tokyo and it's mostly anime shops here so if you're interested in that kind of stuff 
definitely come check it out. And down here, there's also crane games and the Japanese photo booths. Koreatown. I found the honey meat shop and then also the boiling crab and the wako tonka. And there's a Korean barbecue shop here. So this is sort of like the beginning of K Town. And oh, there's, there's Zion Market right there. Yes. Okay, that's where we're headed. Look at all the palm trees. And then we found another plaza that has cocoa. And then there's like noodle shops and there's cocoa curry right there soon soon for the whole duration of the trip we actually didn't get a chance to go to cocoa curry so that was a little bit disappointing we made it inside and we obviously end up in the snack section of course whenever i see this reminds me of my dad papa lee he always gets these pb gold so this is the panchan section, so it's on the side dishes, and it's already prepared and chilled for you. So these are the squids that my mom really likes, and they're called anju, so you have them with alcohol, and just have it as a snack. Look at all these udon noodles. Udon noodles and so many different kinds of brands. All the crates with the honey butter chips. That's a good deal too. The kimchi? Yeah, $8.99. Yeah. So these are Korean melons and it's very special to Korea and you eat the seeds and that's where you get the flavor because the flesh of it is very tasty and so the sweetness comes from the seeds. So this is called yakwa and it's like a Korean pastry dessert and it's like deep fried and it's super tasty and this looks like it's homemade too, like not from a factory. So we just finished the ayat and I just got this mini pour. So this is the yakko that I was talking about and we're heading to Daiso now and this is my little snack. <laughs> so Daiso's inside this H-Mart Plaza in this mall, like there's like a whole list of things but there's a small here but apparently it's on the first floor of this mall so we're gonna go see and see if it's actually real Cute little rice roll makers and vegetable cutters, toast stampers. What? And bento boxes and cutleries, Asian snacks. That concludes our first full day in LA where we went to Nijia Market and Kura Sushi in Little Tokyo and Zion Market and Daiso in Koreatown. I do have more videos on my travels coming up so make sure you subscribe so you can stay updated. We go to Disneyland in our next video. Make sure you like this video and if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. We were very tired at this point and just went back to our accommodation to rest. Thanks for watching. Bye!